Fayette school leaders say the system worked today, preventing a loaded gun from making it into Paul Lawrence Dunbar High School. Danielle Misco is live at Dunbar after talking to the school system's police chief. Danielle. So this is the fourth time a gun has been found at a Fayette County Public School this year. This time, the gun was discovered as students were going through metal detectors and having their bags checked to start the day. Once that security ambassador uh, observed what he believed to be a weapon, he notified school police who, who uh, responded immediately and, and took uh, the student into custody without incident. Fayette School's police chief Martin Schaefer says that discovery didn't disrupt classes, but parents could pick up their kids if they wanted to. So there, there was no indicators or any evidence discovered that there was an intent or um, that the firearm were to be used on this campus or any other campus in Fayette County. Chief Martin says the student is a junior and drugs were also found in the student's backpack. Remains in custody at this time. The student is being charged with unlawful possession of a weapon on school property, receiving stolen property firearm, trafficking in a controlled substance in or near a school enhanced with a firearm, and also charged with uh, a Class A misdemeanor possession of a firearm by a minor. This incident happens just one day after Fayette County Public School celebrates its fifth year of its 10-point safety plan, which includes a mandate of having a school resource officer on every school campus, plus hiring security, installing metal detectors, and alarms on every door of every school. We're pleased to say that um, we, the protocols that we have in place um, prevented anything further from happening. Anytime an incident like this occurs, we take it extremely seriously. Uh, the safety of our students um, cannot be ignored. The Public Engagement Office alerted parents. Fayette School leaders say parents can help keep classrooms safe. We ask our families to please speak to your children. Please um, talk to them about if they see something, say something. Dr. Liggins also wants to remind students and families that they can use the STOP tip line. STOP stands for Safety Tip Line Online Prevention, and it's where they can anonymously submit any information if they see something that is going to jeopardize the school's safety. Live in Lexington, I'm Danielle Miskell, Fox 56 News.